whether this intelligence works for you or works against you will determine the nature of your life. I can teach you one simple process. Just do this, life will change dramatically. An intelligence that you have never thought possible will become yours. Modern science today is recognizing there is something called as Akashic intelligence. That is space, empty space has certain intelligence. Whether this intelligence works for you or works against you will determine the nature of your life, whether you are a blessed being or one who is going to be freaked and buggered around for the rest of your life. It simply depends on that, how this Akashic intelligence behaves with you. For no reason, people are being hammered around by life, isn't it? For no reason, some people seem to be blessed with everything. It is not for no reason, it is your ability, either consciously or unconsciously your ability to be able to get the cooperation of this larger intelligence which is functioning. When I say Akashic or the space, the fifth element, it is improper to call it the fifth element, it is because it's the element. All the other four just play upon it. The fundamental element is Akash or the space. It is upon that element the other four play. Now we are sitting here on a round planet. You know it is spinning. Earth spinning, solar system, everything. I want you to know it is all held in place only by the Akash. You are sitting in your place, not because yourself, not because you got bumps to sit on. You are sitting in your place only because the Akash is holding you in place, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. You think it's your buttock? It's not your butt. It is the Akash which is holding you in place. It is the Akash which is holding this earth in place. It's the Akash which is holding this solar system in place. It's the Akash which is holding this galaxy in place. It is the Akash which is holding the whole cosmos in place and no strings attached, just see. Hmm? Just like that, just held like this, isn't it? Now this Akash, if you know how to bring it to your cooperation, if you know how to get the cooperation of the Akash into your life, this will be a blessed life. I can teach one simple process, which anyway half of you will not do always. You do this much. After the sunrise, before the sun crosses thirty degrees angle, thirty degrees means something like this. Before the sun crosses thirty degrees angle, once look up at the sky and bow down. We're holding you in place today. After it crosses thirty degrees, sometime during the day, any time, look up and bow down again. After it sets, once again look up and bow down. Not to some god up there, just to the empty space for holding you in place for today. Just do this, life will change dramatically. Have you noticed even Tendulkar looks up? And have you noticed, it's not just him. Right, right from ancient times, when man achieved something in wars, in great moments of success, because unknowingly there is a realization. Okay, some of them may be looking up for the Uparwala, 
but most of them, they manage to climb the peak, Mount Everest. This will naturally come, have you seen this? In <laughs> whether it's Bhavaspandana or Samyama, something you hit one peak experience. Have you noticed this, your body? in gratitude physically without even your awareness becomes like this because somewhere there is a recognition, there is an intelligence here which recognizes that. You consciously do this three times a day. If you get cooperation from this, life will happen in magical ways. An intelligence that you have never thought possible will become yours because an intelligence which is beyond your understanding and grasp is right now functioning right here, isn't it? Is it not functioning? It is that intelligence which is holding the whole cosmos together. It is that intelligence which is the womb for creation. It is in the womb of that intelligence all creation is happening and it is not denied to you. Excess is not blocked, it is just that you have never looked that way. It is just that you are so engrossed in the little nature of who you are. Your body, your thought, your emotion, your hormones have engaged you so much that looking up never occurs. Paying attention to something beyond never occurs because these little things have taken you over. It is this that we refer to as maya, this is maya. It's not that the existence does not exist, that is not maya. It is just that this is maya. When something so phenomenal and fantastic and humongous is happening, these little things keep you busy, engaged, and they make you feel as if this is more real than everything else. All this happening, so many fantastic things happening in the cosmos today, in absolutely miraculous and fantastic ways, but one little worm of a thought is worming through your head and that keeps you engaged. Yes or no? <laughs> That's Maya, do you understand? Mm-hmm. <laughs>